How's he doing? Oh, that was amazing! Oh, what you worked oh on? Did you all just magically appear in the living room? You know what? I'm gonna prioritize my questions. Where have you been? It's been a long, incredible Christmas journey. He's fine. Yeah, I went to go put my clothes in the dryer, and uh, when I came back, you were all gone. That was like two weeks ago. That was the day the adventure began. We were getting out the Christmas decorations when we found an old enchanted hat and some magic words that opened a portal to the North Pole. Yeah, and that's when we teamed up with Santa Claus to save Christmas from the clutches of Santo the Horrible. You met Santa? You saved Christmas? There's a Santo? It was the adventure of a lifetime. And I missed it? I mean, it wasn't that great. You know, maybe we should just forget it. You're not even going to tell me about it? I guess we could go over some of the highlights. Ooh, ooh, tell them about the North Pole. Okay, so after we met Santa, he overexplained all the mechanisms that make Christmas possible. Like how the reindeer fly. Where the elves come from. How he covers the whole world in one night. His beard is a time machine. Did you travel through time? We may have seen a couple of dinosaurs. And you couldn't have waited? Like one minute for me to come back to say the magic words? We were all kind of swept up in the moment, you understand. I still didn't believe Santa was real. It would take more than a mountain of physical evidence to convince me. But then we learned about Santo. Santo the Horrible is the evil negative version of Santa Claus, the result of a failed cloning experiment. Due to a loophole in the Christmas Constitution, Santo was able to escape his volcano prison once every 100 years. That sounds so cool. If Santo was able to fly his blimp to the South Pole, he could finally steal Christmas forever. But we had a blimp of our own. There was a blimp chase? Our blimp ran on the power of believing, but we still couldn't catch up to him. Somebody still didn't believe. Look, it was all a little unbelievable. It was literally happening right in front of you. I mean, yeah, but... Come on. So, because not everybody believed, Carrot the Hero went back in time to get Santa's birth certificate as proof. He did it, but the journey de-aged him. So he looks the same, but he has to learn to walk again. <clears throat> okay, you lost me. This part got really complicated. There were a lot of time travel rules. It all seemed to make sense at the time. But now that I had a notarized government document, I finally believed in Santa, the person with whom I had already spent several days. We were finally able to catch up to Santo, but we were nice to him, so he turned good. Then we all played Monopoly. What, you played Monopoly without me? Santa taught us Christmas is not about getting cool presents. The true meaning of Christmas is being together with everyone you care about. Almost everyone you care about. As long as we're all, most of us all together, we can accomplish anything. And then he gave us cool presents. Ooh, the best presents. Wow, I can't believe I missed all that. The only exciting thing I've done is I watched a Family Matters marathon. Wait, for real? We missed an Urkel marathon? Ugh, all we did was that weird Christmas thing. But you know what I was thinking? Did any of it really happen at all? Yes, what is wrong with you? You go first, you go first. Okay, okay, I'll go first. <gasps> no way! It's the Prober's Pal Human Experimentation Multi-Tool. Unlock the secrets of humanity with one handy dandy tool. I can't wait to use it on our humans. 